And welcome again. It's time for the headlines where we get to tell you what to expect if you are to pick up a daily. I'm joined by Mary, of course, again today. Mary, you're welcome. Thank you very much. So I don't have any you. special anecdotes today, but <laughs> welcome should do. So let's start. Let's go into the papers this morning. Um, and we're going to be starting from the Guardian newspaper. Inside of the Guardian newspaper, you will meet these headlines first up and center. Despite 2.8 trillion naira subsidy power, averages 3,000 megawatts in 10 years. Doesn't seem to be getting any better. There's a chart there with the electricity subsidy between 2015 and 2023. Thank you very much, Guardian, for always giving us these very, very go-to type information on your yeah. charts. Private sector CSOs kick as NLC decides on indefinite strike Tomorrow, Wicket Whoa. gives Yugoda Lambo NCS 186 plots owners uh, ultimatum. And also Nigeria has 500,000 undocumented citizens, 8,900 professional students in South Africa. Now, that is a lot wow. of people. There's still more on the front page of the Guardian. Paris Climate Agreement, Nigeria and uh, hypocrisy of uh, polluter countries. And the knots in Tinubu's lofty debt servicing plan. These are some of the stories you'll find for The Guardian if you are to pick one of them up to read this you, morning. The issue of the debt servicing, though, people are really kicking about it. We, mm -hmm. we can only hope that it gets better, especially with the um, recent news of subsidy in uh, full again because of uh, the, the return. The, of yeah, the dollar and all. But let's take a look at the Vanguard newspaper. It says NLC battles OPS over stand on planned nationwide strike. Now, the riders here. Uh, go uh, NLC alleges plot to sabotage struggle on palliatives. Economy cannot afford nationwide strike. OPS insists. Urges federal government NLC to avert industrial action by all means. Asks federal government to demonstrate good faith in keeping promises. Pro-labor CSOs urge NLC to declare indefinite strike. Pledge to support NLC in fighting for workers, others. So that's the... That's the big one, talking about the NLC strike, which is uh, scheduled to begin tomorrow. Uh, Nigeria legal experts uh, fault uh, NCAA's transfer of AOC to new owners. Kidnapping Zamfara, rescue remaining female varsity students. Tinubu orders uh, security agencies. Here we also have manufacturers incur heavy losses as forex crisis inflation mm. bites harder. Now, that's a very big one for me regarding the manufacturers because we've always been saying this since the start of the entire issue with the whole subsidy removal thing. Mm -hmm. the, the, the card was Nigeria produced more so we can strengthen the Naira. But mm -hmm. in the case where uh, manufacturers are the ones who are growing now, if we can't produce nothing, we can definitely not export anything. So we are not even producing for ourselves or the ability to export mm -hmm. and strengthen the Naira. Subsidy removal, perhaps maybe not put it back in petrol, yeah. maybe help manufacturers instead. Also That's my layman, yes. my layman, um, uh, what do you call it, yeah. uh, opinion. And so, and so you can understand how heartbreaking it was, mm -hmm. the unfortunate fire incident at the company last uh, weekend. Yes, yes, that was Thinking of bad. what has been lost and all in this dire times, it, it's, it's insane. And then of course we still have uh, diphtheria kills 10 as Jigawa records uh, suspected cases. Omen abroad, Tinubu's Nigeria is taking its rightful place, coming from Mohamed Idris. Here we also have NYG 2023, Olarinoye mint three gold medals for Team Lagos in weightlifting. That's uh, commendable, as a matter of fact. Quite a number of other stories uh, in the Vanguard newspaper, but we should move on to the Daily Times. Uh, I'll do Daily Trust instead. Okay. Front Center for Daily Trust, FCT. Okay. States lose trillions of naira to unpaid ground rents. FCTA owned 34 billion naira, revo uh, recovers 2 billion naira in two days. Why states are not getting around rents, uh, not getting ground rents, and defaulters risk revocation of titles, say lawyers. At the top for the Daily Trust, Boko Haram kills soldiers, five passengers in Bonham. Which regarding this, is the first time in the world that we've heard that tag Boko Haram, Boko Haram. in any terrorist activity that mm -hmm. has gone on inside of the nation. Why is there a, a, a resurfacing of the name or mm. of their activities? The thing that needs, that should be the center of any inquiry that's about to happen regarding this case. Now, access holding half year, um, profit rises to 52% as revenue hits 940 billion there. And Daily Trust Lead TV, Oyegba win a Wamba Political Reporting Award. Congratulations to you guys. Tinubu orders rescue of abducted Zamfarabasti students. It's been such a long time. And, uh, well, don't know if to say this is... Uh, 
I don't know if to say this is about time, but it's always been about time that they should have been rescued or they should have been priority for anybody who is in the security arm of government. Um, there is more uh, front page for the Daily Trust. We can revoke some more plots in Abuja. 168 others uh, given ultimatum. And tribunal delivers judgment in PDP LP petitions against Songolu today. And flood destroys 70 houses in Cross River State. People losing their houses and their properties uh, due to land revocation mm. is actually something that I believe the government needs to work better on. Like many of these uh, government agencies are supposed to give the permits, but in most cases, due to pubs being you know greased. greased and all, we see situations where there shouldn't be any property on it mm -hmm. and you give the permit and the person is presenting a permit and the government is saying no and so you're wondering i have the official permits mm -hmm. what's going on mm -hmm. it's an unfortunate well, situation well, what 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 is to be said about the unsuspecting buyer in any case yeah if i did not know if, if i'm just simply i need land this is available okay go through all the uh, pros processes and process and, everything. Yeah. and then you still end up tell, being told your land is being revoked, that is going to be quite very unfortunate. So I'm thinking, instead of just revoke these lands, how about go right back to the very beginning, where it all started from, and if there's any compensation that could be given to these individuals who are losing their lands, then perhaps maybe. Do you know sometimes I wonder if it's possible to even move the house? You know, <laughs> elsewhere. So much on it. <laughs> because do you know what it means to watch it, and then the cost of cement now, to now yeah. start all over again elsewhere? Terrible. We'll take a very last paper this morning. Daily Independent for this morning has this okay. headline here. Um, a new AGCBN governor deputy's assumption of office wrong. Lawyers, economists CBN say, yeah, say it's patent illegality. Presumptuous, they say. Ah. Um, there's more on the front page for independence. Agreement trials extension of AOC for, N uh, for Nigerian Eagle um, Airlines as $30 million aircraft engine keep airline a ground and judges wrongly accused of delaying justice appeal courts judge say i find this interesting unizik dismisses two lecturers suspend six for fraud extortion uh I, I can imagine the relief the students who had to go through such lecturers are probably feeling right now and then of course mobad reaped uh, reward of his actions while alive that's uh, coming from uh, Pastor Tunde Bakari. Mm. I know a lot of talk about Mobad. Yeah. Uh, may so mm. rest in peace. Yeah. Yes. Thank you very much, Mary, for joining me for the papers. Absolutely. Always a pleasure. Now let's move on to where we get more pleasure when it comes to Wake Up Nigeria. No Ooh. place than the kitchen because that's where all our food comes from. And this morning we have a very exciting chef with us. And why don't we just let Titi do us the honors of the introduction? <laughs> 